going. We need to get going. Hector, do you want to go on a boat? Do you want to go on a little boat? Come on in. <laughs> Good afternoon. No, do you know what? I'm not going to say good afternoon. I'm not going to say good afternoon, everybody. I'm going to say ahoy, shipmates. Ahoy. We have the baby with us. Say hello, Hector. This is completely random. We are going on a little trip to Harwich in Essex because Harry here. I've never been to Harwich. Has never been to Harwich. Hector's never been to Harwich as well. So Hector's never been on a boat before, so this is he, quite no, exciting. No, 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 he has been on a boat. Sorry to butt him. He has, he's been right. on a boat in Dedham, on a rowboat. But he's not been on a boat like we're going on. So a quick, a quick boat. A quick boat. I've worn yellow, just in case I go overboard and they can easily find me in the sea. A bit forward thinking, I thought. We're going to sail from Harwich over to Felixstowe and we're going to sail back from Felixstowe back to Harwich. Felixstowe is one of the biggest shipping ports in the UK, if not the biggest. Somebody, somebody might be correcting me in the comments. Uh, busiest. Is the busiest, busiest. Harry had a look yesterday and didn't you say there were about 20 ships? 25 ships. 25, 25 big, ships? 25 big ships. I don't know how I feel about this because I, I'm up for doing anything, kind of. But I do suffer a little bit from megalophobia. I think it's called megalophobia, again, somebody might correct me. And that is the fear of enormous objects. I think man-made objects. We're going to be near a cargo ship on the water. On the water, that's, that's another thing. Objects in water freak me out. If I saw one of the ship's propellers... You won't, they'll be worried. Not that we will. under the water. Yeah, not that we will, but that would really freak me out. Like cargo ships and cranes and whatnot. I'm okay with these things. That's good. Good for you, aren't you? Isn't he lucky? It's the equivalent of plane spotting, isn't it? <laughs> but uh, we're so, going yeah, it's cargo, gonna be exciting. cargo ship spotting. So we're going to go there now and uh, yeah, hopefully we get to see some cargo ships. We've just arrived. It's, it's nice, I like the architecture. It's like, it, it is nice. It's quite a pretty place. But, I'm not just saying this as well, I'm not playing up to the camera. Those cranes make me feel so queasy. I don't know what it is. What about the ships? Yeah, we're in the ships. You wait till you merge them together and I'll be, I don't know what I'll be. It's going to be exciting. Do you want to go and see some shibby wibby wibbies? You know. That's the one that's coming out three. Yeah. Um, Harry was saying that he thinks it's not. <laughs> no, but it's quite funny. It's that's not. not. It's not. He, he, it said online it was Europe. I'll read you what it says. It says the port of Felixstowe is the UK's busiest container port, dealing with 42% of Britain's containerised trade. It is with 3,000 metre deep water quay, Europe's fifth busiest port, and handled 3.74 million 20 foot equivalent units of traffic. So you can see where my confusion came from. I just Googled it and it said the actual port itself is 12 or 15 metres deep. Yeah, so it must mean it's a 3,000 metres long, like the actual key is long. Oh, the, not the depth. It might mean that, but you can see how I got confused there. Yeah, that, that makes me feel a bit better if it's only 12 metres deep. To be fair, I reckon that that's deeper than the Mariana. Have the... <laughs> you think this port's no, deeper 3, than the Mariana? 3,000 metres would be deeper. But we did think because we got confused that it was 3,000 metres deep, which really freaked me out. But now I know it's only 12 metres deep. Don't get me wrong, I would still drown Seven and miles. probably die, but at least it's not 3,000 metres down. No, that would be, yeah, that would be quite something if it was. The abyss, the, the, the Felix Stone Harridge abyss it would be known as. Very exciting. It's quite exciting. I still think I might get a bit freaked out when I get close to the ships, but seeing them just now, I was okay with, but on the way here, when I could see all the cranes in the horizon, it really did freak me out. You can actually see, I was telling Harry this, when I've flown my drone in Colchester before, you can see the cranes of Felixstowe and Harwich Harbour in the distance, which is mad, it's because they're that big.
this road, it's called Outpart Eastward. That couldn't sound any more shippish <laughs> if it tried, do you think? Do you think hmm. we're gonna have to wear life jackets? Don't think so, no. Oh. I mean, they'll, ha they'll have them, but I don't know if we'll have to wear them, no. I was kind of hoping it, I get to wear life jackets today. It doesn't instill confidence, does it? Do you know, I, I, I've, just what, I've just realized what I said, I was hoping to get to wear a life jacket today. That's not the kind of thing you say no, when you're no. about to go on a boat, is it? There's a ship like this red ship in Colchester. It's been there years. Oh, really? And my nana always used to tell us that it used to take all the naughty boys and girls to an island when we were younger. as a bit of a deterrent to be well behaved. Harry's just spotted something. So it says that this red boat was used in the film The Boat That Rocked, which was all about the pirate radio station. So this was the one that was used for the film. It's quite cool. I've never watched it. Hector's gone into panic mode because Harry's gone to the loo. So I think that yellow boat there is our ferry, but it's going over to Shotley first. Then it's going to come back here and pick us up. Hector's got absolutely no idea what's going on. What do you think of this, Hector? What do you think of this? Choppy. Wow. We're getting a little bit of splashback from the waves. Oh! <sighs> oh! <laughs> Salty. to Felixstowe. Everybody is getting off besides us because we're going back to Harwich, then to Shotley, yeah. then back to back to Harwich. Got a little bit of work on the way, didn't we? Yeah, the waves are quite big, so they're splashing in, yeah. It's quite it's, cool. Show you the boat, shall I? This is the boat. Used to be a lifeboat back in the day and they've converted it into this little ferry that goes between all the areas. There we are, bless him. You okay, Hector? There's the bridge. I will just add, Hector is crying, but I don't. I honestly don't think he's crying because we're on a boat. He's stopped crying now. He has separation anxiety, and whenever one of us leaves somewhere, he starts crying. I don't know where he thought I was going because I'm, I'm, I'm on the boat. But yes, he's stopped now. He's happy now. We 
are back at Harwich. Next stop is Shotley, then back to Harwich, but we've just spotted. Yep. Another dog's getting on. And Hector has spotted the dog as well, so he's getting a bit excited. Think, Hector. Ah, oh, he's sitting between your legs. That is so cute. How sweet is that? Bless him. Let me get a photo. So everyone has gotten off the boat. So I'm going to go for a little walk at the front. If you fancy doing this, we paid £13.50 each and Hector was £1.50, so that's £1.50 to get a ticket for your dog. And it was about a 60 minute round trip. You go from Harwich to Felixstowe, Felixstowe back to Harwich, Harwich to Shotley, then from Shotley back to Harwich. And you can get off, there's different ticket types, but we got an all round ticket. We're the only ones that got a round trip ticket. No one else. I think everyone else that got on the, the ferry were regulars who... Everyone else was actually using the ferry. Which is to go to Felixstowe or to come back to Harwich. Take your sunglasses Thank you. Okay. Cool, someone's licking his lips. Wait. <laughs> Some very nice chips from a local chippy, very quintly sent quintly British. Little quintessentially. <laughs> Very quintessentially British day out. Almost. Lovely, yeah. I like carriage, it's really nice. Mm. Really nice. <laughs> no. 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 With lots, of maritime history. lots of maritime history. So this was the Navy Yard Wharf. The dock is situated on the site of the old Navy Yard from 1660 to 1827. There was one called Colchester. Is that a ship? Yep, name, name of the ship. No way. 44, 50 guns. That's pretty cool. Who knew there was a ship called Colchester? Arrogant. Arrogant? <laughs> Terrible. I quite like Drood. Hannibal. Mm, just reminds me of Hannibal Lecter. Irresistible. Oh, I like Inflexible. <laughs> what a name. Who knew there was so much maritime history in Harwich? Well, it makes perfect sense because it's an important port into the country. And we were checking, Felixstowe is the largest port in the UK. 42% of the containerised trade comes through Felixstowe for the whole of the UK. There you That's go. A lot. That is it's a lot. It is a lot. How much? 42? 42 percent of the UK's containerised trade comes in through Felixstowe and leaves through Felixstowe. But obviously Harwich isn't so much where it's going on, but because Harwich is right opposite it, you can see it all from Harwich. Because literally yeah. across the you can see it, can't you? Yeah, I would say if you wanna go and see Felixstowe, like the shipping here. side, you're better off coming to Harwich. 
parking where we parked and looking at it from Harwich. There you go, all the pubs are free houses. So they're not brewery tied. They're not brewery tied. Which means that they are completely independent and they protect their own and, and they, they sell what they want and they do what they want. So that's quite nice. That is nice. I was just thinking, you know, we were just saying, if you want to see Felix today, you want to go to Harwich. Yeah. I think you're better off coming here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you can see all of it from across the water. Whereas if you're there, you're not going to, be able to see it all because you're going to be on the same side as it. Yeah, what I was going to say is it's a bit like New York. If you want to, um, if you want to see the skyline of New York, you're better off going to New Jersey. I think, is it the Colgate Tower? I think, I could be I've wrong. I have no idea. I've never been to New York. I've been twice and I've not actually done what I'm about to tell you you should do. But you can go over to New Jersey, corner of New Jersey, and you get this beautiful panoramic view of Manhattan. So yeah, if you want to see Manhattan, go to New Jersey. And if you want to see Felixstowe, go to Harwich. And here's my lonely little car waiting for us. Oh, just spotted another ferry coming in. Let's have one last look, shall we? Good boy. No. Hector has had the best day out. He's loving it. Good boy. No, no, too loud place we just went to was called the Pier Hotel which is dog friendly so if you've got your dog and you want a little coffee a little drink a little, bit, a little bite to eat you can go in there as I was leaving I went to the gents and as I walked in there I could hear this man talking very loudly and really clearly and he was telling everyone what the shipping forecast is but the only thing is I was the only one in there so I was a little bit like where is this person and I thought he might have been hiding in the cubicles for some reason telling somebody what the shipping forecast is but I actually looked up and it was the speakers, so they obviously tell all the local maritime people what the shipping forecast is through some kind of radio. It was such, such good speakers, it sounded genuinely like somebody was in there telling you what the, I think it's called the shipping forecast, about all the currents and the wind direction, all that kind of stuff. Harry was looking, the ship over here, the MSC Amsterdam that is, which is what the camera is currently pointing at. Um, and I was interested what the biggest cargo ship in the world is. Well, I looked up the largest cargo ship in the world, and it's the MSC Irina, apparently. Um, and I was then comparing size, and I was surprised to find out that Hector, that one... Hector, Sorry, Hector. Just... Oh, he's in the water. No, out. He's not in it. He was just chasing some birds. He got very close. Sorry, Harry. But that one over there is a metre shorter than the longest one in the world. So that is, that is massive, because that isn't far off the, biggest, the size of the biggest one. So that's cool. Was you saying it's the equivalent of an athletics track? 400 metres long. It, it doesn't look it, does it? But it is. I will just mention, on the way here, as I told you, my megalophobia and just general... I don't know. I, I, I don't actually know how I would des what I would describe the feeling as. But I'm, I'm not joking. As we were approaching Felix, though, sorry, Harwich, and I could see the cranes in the distance. I was going, oh no, like it was really making me uneasy and uncomfortable. But being here now, I'm not bothered now. Bizarre. Uh, maybe it's because, this has been a bit like therapy perhaps, <laughs> but uh, maybe it's because I've done this today and it doesn't bother me, but I think it could be a different kettle of fish if those ships were moving and we were next to them. I think that would definitely creep me out. Maybe my fear has been cured perhaps. Um, it was really good on the ferry. I enjoyed the ferry ride. That was nice. Yeah, I was saying earlier, I really recommend it. And, yeah. and we got a lot closer as well. Like, we got a lot closer than here. And, and it does, as much as it's only over there, we are quite far away from it. So when you're closer, you realise it is massive. Yeah, it got a little bit massive. choppy as well, which is quite fun. Not too choppy, but just a little bit choppy. I've really enjoyed my day in Harwich. Me too. Me too. I've, I can't remember the last time I, I visited. It's been a long time. You were saying to me that I'm going to be disappointed and it's not great. No, 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 no. I don't want to get any hate, right? Okay. All I'm saying is that I, you're, you just seemed very, very excited about coming to Harwich when you first suggested it. I was excited it. to see a huge, well, I was excited to see the UK's biggest shipping port. And you've seen it. And it How is, do you feel? It's massive. The baby has had a great day out. Oh, Hector's had a great day. He's had absolutely fantastic. He's going to be telling all the dogs about this in the park. 
yeah, he really enjoyed it. We'll finish things there. As always, thank you very much for your company. I hope you enjoyed watching this vlog and look forward to seeing you on next week's video. Take care, guys. Cheers. See you next week. Bye-bye.